My name is Mariam. My journey has been a long and arduous one. This is my story. My life, it begins with tears. <laughs> with my first breath, my mother breathed her last. Alone, I had no home, a stranger in a foreign land. My aunt and uncle took me in as their own. My new home should have been one of peace and safety, but sadly, it was only the beginning of the darkness. When I turned nine, my fears, my nightmares, escaped my dreams and became a reality. In an instant, my childhood stolen. My innocence was torn from me by a family, friend. Any trust I had of my uncle was lost. He could have rescued me and kept me safe, but instead he turned a blind eye, again and again. Though my scars have faded, within the abuse remains with me to this very day. I thought there could be no escape until my uncle was caught in an affair. My aunt fled with me returning to Afghanistan. My uncle soon came looking for us and finally he found me while I was at school. He took me to his new home and again I was broken, devastated and broken. I bore this burden silently until it all became unbearable. I needed to escape. One day I met a driver a man traveling to the big city. In Afghanistan, it is almost impossible for women to travel without being under the care of a male relative. It was a risk, but I had no choice but to trust this man. Perhaps he would protect me, so I lived with him and his family. I had to for survival. The driver had a wife and five children. I hoped I could be as one of his children, but that hope was lost as he unceremoniously took me as his wife. My hope was for protection, but there was none, and instead I was beaten, broken, and my body used for others. Each day I was sold, given against my will. My will? Did I even have a will anymore? I remember, on one occasion, I refused to oblige. In answer to my rebellion, my hand crashed in the car door. Days grew to months until death threats from the wider family pressured me to run. Alone and adrift, like waste in the dust, surrounded by street dogs. I was lost. Then I was found. My story was told, at last I was heard. The UN placed me in the care of Hager and their transitional care center. All trust was gone, how could I trust anyone? At first I felt trapped and hopeless. I would shout at those caring for me every single day. Surely they would hurt me like everyone before them. I refused their care and the medicine from the doctors. I couldn't imagine a tomorrow. I could do nothing but survive each passing day. And every day they cared for me. No matter what I did, they were kind to me. My life had been a storm and here I found shelter. Slowly, through their constancy and counseling, through their patience and commitment, I started on a new journey to wholeness. My days at school were few, so I had never been taught how to read or write. At Hager, I started to learn the alphabet, and with each new letter, my trust increased, my hope grew. I absolutely loved learning, and I wanted more. I enrolled in literacy and computer classes, and through an accelerated course, I quickly caught up. 
I was so pleased to pass my school entrance exam, re-entering many classes above where I had left off. With Hager's support, I worked hard at school, eventually placing first in my final exams. I was thrilled that I could celebrate this with my new supportive family. This was a momentous day. Before, I felt as I was nothing, and that day, I had taken first place, I was leading the way. Through the years, Hager gave me many opportunities to grow, and I took every one of them. I was like a seed, broken and dead, but I took the roots and I grew, every day closer to the sun. I have grown and learned so much. I have such a hunger for learning. I have even started to learn new languages. With the support of the Hager team, I applied for a scholarship to study law internationally. Today, I'm studying at a university, working towards my goals of helping other women survivors to reach for a better future. I've also been appointed to help Afghan students survive their struggles and celebrate their achievements. My life was changed so unbelievably. Through this, I hope to see the same change in others. I'm very grateful that I was given a chance to live like this and to thrive. My name is Mariam. My journey has been long and fought for. It began in tears of sorrow. It continues with tears of joy.